Well, how do you do, Buckaroos? This is Tom and the Beer Whisper coming at you almost live. Oh, I'm, I'm back out of my patio again. Oh, I do have some wind. Got a nice day. Uh, they said the window was going to come up, but it hadn't come up yet. So I came, came out here and I started the grill, uh, but the wind is now coming up. So, but I really enjoy sitting outside and having a beer. I've had to do my videos inside for a while, and I kind of been playing around with different backdrops. So I've been, been enjoying doing that, but I really love just sitting outside having a beer. I guess that's the way I grew up, I suppose. But to me, there's nothing better than hanging out on the patio having a beer. And I like being at a bar, no, no doubt about it. I love sitting at a pub. <laughs> Uh, I don't think anybody loves a bar more than I do. Uh, but I also love when a bar has a very nice beer garden. I think one of them that comes to mind is when we lived in El Paso, Texas. There's a little place called Ossie Tunis uh, that had to, it was a, just a little hole in the wall bar by the looks of it, but outside was just this monstrous, beautifully landscaped beer garden. Oh, I love that place. Anyway, so I've got Mother's Uncanny. I did a short video for this when I was at the brewery the other day. I didn't do a comprehensive video. I really didn't try to delve into all the flavors. I was trying to do it quick, and I didn't have a lot of time. Uh, it's 5635, our American Pale Ale struts a pleasant hop aroma with hints of citrus, while the subtle malt character creates not so uncanny balance, refreshing and crisp in both color and taste. Every drop of Mother's Uncanny is delicious, easy drink. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I bought two six packs. I took one six pack uh, when I met some friends last Friday. Uh, I met uh, my buddy's uh, <laughs> my buddy's Moose and Huggy Bear. Excuse me while I scratch my nose. Uh, Moose and Huggy Bear uh, <laughs> uh, and and uh, and Moose's son. And, and his uh, fiance and another one of his buddies, Mark, uh, we went and saw the Delbert McClinton show uh, last Friday. So I brought them a six pack because I wanted to have a six pack with them, but I kept a six pack for me and I had a couple of them over the weekend and I had drank one last night. I just love this beer. And it's one of those beers that the more you drink it, oh, there's the wind, there goes everything, here goes my backdrop, there goes, <laughs> everything's it's going, man. <laughs> Hang on, Tom, it's a twister, baby. It's one of those beers that you just love every time. I love it more every time I have one. Man's first beer and I, I already can't speak. The aromas are, are great. Uh, it's big and fruity, you get a lot of, uh, I'm getting a lot of apricot on the nose, some hints of peach maybe, but there's some a lot of stone fruit basically is what I'm trying to tell you. A whole lot of citrus. You certainly get some great fruit. You'll get some various tropical fruit notes, uh, uh, pineapple, passion fruit, mango, that sort of thing going on as well. There's also some very delightful, <laughs> delightful, very delightful uh, peppery notes as well. So now that I've talked for over three minutes and haven't taken a drink, we're gonna knock some back here. Oh, yeah, at 5.6, I'm not going to say it's a session beer, but it is one that's very sessionable. How about that? How about if we say that? Uh, it, again, it, for me, it, it, it'd be a great barbecue beer, a great picnic beer. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, so you might, some may want a lighter ABV beer, but what I mean by that is just, it's just very enjoyable. It gives you a beer with a lot of flavor that'll accompany just about everything that you're, you're cooking on the grill that you're going to eat. It's going to be beautiful with barbecue. It's going to work very well with pork. It's it's gonna work very nicely with chicken. It's gonna be great with hot dogs and burgers as well. But it's not so big that it wrecks your palate for other things, and that's what I'm getting at. It's just, a, it's got great big flavor. Uh, it, it's a little hoppier than that 35 IBUs might suggest. Uh, uh, wow, it does, it, especially in the finish, You really, it really lingers. It's a beautiful pale ale for mothers. I'm glad they uh, I'm glad they bottled the uncanny. <laughs> it's not can, get it? It's uncanny. Anyways, I'm glad they bottled it. They said it goes great with grilled pork chops, bites of cheddar and Romano cheese, spicy buffalo wings, and apple pie. Yeah, what the hell? I can't disagree with any of that. <laughs> Go great with all those things. <laughs> Anyway, so there you go. So I'm near the end. Hey, I'm coming to Beer Whisper. It's a great beer. Uh, it runs about, uh, I don't, depending on where you buy it, in my neck of the woods, it's going to run between eight and nine bucks a six pack. It's worth every penny, in my opinion. Yes, I will buy this again. Even though I've already bought two sixes, I'm going to go buy another one. It really is that good, and it's perfect for spring, summer. I'll talk to you later.